AMR has been the greatest threat to my life. It has made the infections in my lungs devastating to my life. I was born with a genetic lung disease called cystic fibrosis. And this condition is characterized by the buildup of thick mucus in the lungs that attracts bacteria from the air that I breathe in and over time leads to persistent infections. Ever since I was really little, I have been hospitalized to get intravenous antibiotics to treat these infections. And over time, because of the chronic use of antibiotics, they have become more and more difficult to treat because of these bacteria gaining resistance and no longer being killed by the antibiotics that I'm using to treat them. I had thick mucus lining my airways 24 seven. Uh, I was short of breath, even walking a few steps. I was really a shell of an existence. The most difficult moment was coming to the realization that these tiny microbes were overtaking my body and I couldn't do anything to stop them. If I couldn't have cleared that infection, I don't think I would be here today talking to you. The more that I'm involved in the antibiotic resistance space and in the AMR advocacy, the more I've come to realize the dire problem that antimicrobial resistance is. If we don't work collaboratively to develop new therapeutics for antibiotic resistant bacteria, they're going to become a great threat to many people's lives. And even minor infections are gonna become impossible to treat. I will continue to advocate for this until antimicrobial resistance is no longer the greatest threat to my life and to many others' lives.